Hey, what's up? It's Michael Bumbus with Seattle Sports. This week, we're going to look at game-changing plays that the Hawks had against the Los Angeles Chargers. Man, you look at a football game, there's about four to five plays that you can isolate and say, if these plays don't happen, the game looks a bit different, all right? This play right here was one of three plays towards the end of the game that sealed the deal for the Seattle Seahawks. It all starts on the third and five, all right? You got a third and five look right here. You got a chin in the wall suit to the left. You got... Bruce to the right, and you got Quentin, and I believe that is um, Shelby Harris as your interior lineman. Right, what's gonna happen here is Quentin and Shelby are just gonna pinch. They're gonna pinch right there and get an isolation on the outside with Irving and Uchenna Nwosu. These guys, they got one-on-one -on -one with these, uh, these big boys right here. They're gonna get upfield, get upfield, and try to create some havoc right there. It's gonna force our quarterback here Herbert to step up in the pocket. What the interior linemen do a great job of doing is just occupying the big boys right here and condensing what's going on inside, all right? So what happened is uh, Quentin Jefferson continues to work. He gets after the quarterback. He gets the sack. That's a game-changing play. Why? Because the Chargers are driving down the field. They're trying to get within about 10 points. It doesn't happen here. Quentin Jefferson ends up coming up with this sack that ends up forcing a fourth and 14 and leads to this next game changing play. All right, now we're in this fourth and 14. The Chargers have to go for the play right here. They have to go for the fourth down. They are down. They are trying to make it a close game towards the end of the game. If you look closely, we got man coverage all across the board. We got man there, boom. We got man, boom. All right, you got Neil walk down. Man there, boom. We got man there. Here, man on the running back. You got your too high safety look. What this receiver is going to do at the bottom of the screen is Mike Williams, their best option at this point. Keenan Allen did not play for the Chargers. Mike Williams is going to get upfield and run an in breaking route. Mike Jackson, who is covering Mike Williams, does a great job of stopping him, stopping him one yard short of the first down. All right. Over here, you're going to have a deep cross. Up top, you're gonna have an in-breaking route there, and then we're gonna have the flat route right there. All this is covered. You know they're trying to isolate Mike Jackson. All right, excuse me, Mike Williams against Mike Jackson. They went after that matchup, and then right here, they're manned up. This running back stays in and he blocks. This forces a turnover. Now the Seahawks get the ball with a chance to put the game away. That's exactly what they do. This play right here was a huge game-changing play for the Seattle Seahawks. It's third and about 11, but let me set this up for you. Here's what happens, right? It's third and five. Austin Blythe, our center, gets called on a phantom offsides, right? They say, or excuse me, a false start. They say he moves the ball. He doesn't move the ball. So instead of third and five, they're pushed back to about third and 10, third and 11. In between all this, Geno Smith is hot. He's yelling at the referee. I'm sure you might have seen this on social media, on Twitter or whatever. And Pete Carroll's at the referee. And Geno's walking away from Pete Carroll. He's, he's obviously upset. Pete Carroll looks at him. He goes, hey, calm down. We're going to need you on this next play. This is third and 11. This is big right here, right? This play right here extended a drive that went 17 plays, 77 yards, took 10 minutes off the clock. When the Hawks had the ball, there's 11 minutes left in the third quarter. When they gave it to the Chargers, one minute left in the third quarter. This forces the Chargers to have to play aggressive here's what happens here all right we're just going to focus up top at the uh the two receivers at the top of your screen right here all right we got uh lock it here you got Eskridge here Eskridge is just going to run that seam he's just running the seam trying to clear a path for Tyler Lockett, all right? We got a zone concept over here, all right? This guy right here is your flat defender. This guy has thirds over the top. He has anything over the middle right there. All right, what Lockett does is he gets his depth, boom, hooks it up, Gino finds him. But it's not even more about the concept, it's more about Gino having the composure in this moment to calm himself down, extend this drive. If they don't get this play right here, they don't run the nine plays after this to make this drive even that much longer. 10 minute drive is one of the longest drive we've seen out of the Seahawks in the last decade. This was a game changing moment. If Gino doesn't keep his composure, if Lockett doesn't make the big catch, we don't see one of the longest drives in Seahawks history the last 10 years, then who knows what happens with the LA Chargers if they get the football.